There you go. Everybody's clapping like this. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We have the premier, beautiful young lady. She's always here with us, and she always has some great information for us, too. First guest is a registered dietitian and open nutrition consultant, Firola DeCala. Give her another big round of applause. And she joins us today to show us some healthy foods that, uh, that taste great, too. Usually healthy foods, especially when you go for supplements and everything, they don't make them for taste. And we eat for taste. They yes. make them for more nutrition than the palate. Absolutely, and I have created this video series called Meals for One mm -hmm. on my Fiorella Eats blog. And what I decided to do is to create meals in which they are mm -hmm. nutritionally balanced and also really, really tasty. So one of the reasons why people tend to not eat healthily is because of their connotation with really bland foods. Yeah. You know, they're thinking very bland chicken breast and steamed vegetables and that's what they have to eat. Yeah. And that's just not pleasant. I mean, I personally never eat a chicken breast. I just cannot eat it. But there's a better way Way to kick it up a notch. We start throwing a bunch of salt and pepper and seasoning yes. and everything on it. And very simple too yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. the first thing, I brought a number of different chutneys, salsas, and compotes ah. here today, okay? And so it is not as complicated as you think. Mm -hmm. Each of them has about four or five very, very fresh ingredients that you can very easily make at home. Mm -hmm. So the first step, the first thing to do is to go out into whatever season you plan on doing it. We're in the summer now. And so you want to go get your seasonal fruit because the seasonal fruit not only is the cheapest but it's also the most nutrient dense right yeah. because it's coming out of the soil at the time of the year that it's meant to come out it doesn't have to be local it doesn't have to be local but it'd be great to be local so you can just support your local farmers right yeah. mm -hmm. because that helps too for sustainability and so forth That's right. so I chose today I have avocado mango mm -hmm. strawberries and peaches. Uh -oh. So now what you want to do, instead of just thinking about chopping up your fruit, okay, I want you to think a little bit outside the box. And here in the Bronx, we love to grill, right? We grill. We're always grilling, right? Whenever we have a chance outside mm -hmm. with our little grills. I love it. So what you want to do is get your fruit and throw it on the grill as well, <gasps> right? Whoa! Grill okay. your fruit. It's delicious. I, as a matter of fact, here have a grilled peach. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is like, this is a chutney. Wow. And what we've done here has some tomato in it, but it also has the grilled peaches chopped up and put in there so it kind of gives it a smoky flavor it's overall. It's like a preserve. Yes, and and while it is a little sweet, it also lends to a savory taste. And mm. what I've done here is I've put some sunflower seeds as well in there for some crunch. Mm -hmm. Now this can be used as an accompaniment to something else. For example, any protein that you do choose to have. If you're grilling or poaching or sautéing any sort of mm -hmm. fish or chicken, this would accompany it. Right? You can put so it you don't have it. to go to the barbecue and just have the ribs and chicken and everything just grilled yeah, up. You, you could can, really you can eat healthy at a, at a barbecue. Yes, you can. You put all the vegetables on the grill. A lot of people don't know that. Grill. I mean, you know. Yes, the best, some of the best flavor enhancers are mm -hmm. at the grill, and you can do that with your vegetables and your fruit. Oh. People just think meat, but you can do that as well. You can actually grill a lemon. That's rather, rather tasty, too. And then, and then squeeze it onto your salad as well. Uh -huh. So another one I have right, here. Right, I'm salivating now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this ahead. right here, this is my strawberry feta and mint oh. chutney here. Okay, so I got mm -hmm. some really juicy strawberries, right? They're full of antioxidants, beta carotene, vitamin C, mm -hmm. and I added kind of a salt tea with this sweet which is the feta cheese mm -hmm. you can add any cheese you want and you can actually you know what let me give it to you here mm -hmm. I get I have a little I have a little bit for oh, you just showing there it. yeah 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 here we are okay. right and so what we're going to do is just chop up some fresh basil mm -hmm. and put it in to increase the aromatic flavor of the freshness of that particular mm you know, a combination. And what you can do this too, and if you don't want to use strawberries, this works really well with watermelon as well. Can you imagine the feta, yeah, the watermelon, wow. and the mint? Mm -hmm. It's really tasty. Can I taste yeah, it? Yeah, of course you can. Here we are. Get that there. It's a little mm. avocado boat that it's in. I like avocado. Yeah. There go. So that's really good, and it's full. And then what you want is you want some of the fat from the avocado and the fat from the cheese mm. to allow you to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins that are in the strawberries. Mm. So the more fat you put with the fruit, in terms of olive oil or avocado, it actually allows you to absorb the vitamins in those products. Mm. And what vitamins are in here? So what we have here is you have a lot of omega threes. You have potassium, mm. magnesium. You have beta carotene, vitamin A, vitamin C. I mean, this is chock full, right? Mm, it makes and you want to take off your jacket. It's really, <laughs> it's really, 
It's really good. Yeah, it's, it's just really like very, very flavorful. And so now the next I have here, and mm -hmm. this one I have, this has been influenced from a Hawaiian recipe that I used to like a tuna pokey. Mm -hmm. This is the influence for this. And this is an avocado with mango and roasted macadamia nuts that have been slightly salted. <laughs> Put nuts in everything. Sprinkle them everywhere. Not only do they add flavor crunch, roast them a little before, the, the flavors are amazing. It really enhances the texture. And if you're a little texture. nuts like me, it just enhances everything. Me there. too. <laughs> It's better to be nuts than not. That's what I've learned about. So, and here is the other, if you want to give this a try, this is also the mango avocado with the Can macadamia. Can I leave a little bit of this in yeah, there too? Yeah, mix it all up. It doesn't matter. Put some of this, mix it with this. And this, you could use all of these to accompany your chicken, your fish, your meat. You can put it on the side. You can put it on top of it to enhance the flavor. So in case you are having the chicken breast, it can be much more flavorful and delicious. Mm. And very simply, you can grab the strawberry chutney here and you can put it over a salad you could use it to enhance your salad so there are many uses here for these mm -hmm. types of things here and so what you want to do also Spinach. I have here some yogurt and mm -hmm. by the way you can put a company yogurt here with any one of these right this is how versatile it is and Look you can easily that. make that a snack for you in the afternoon what about calories in, in either of these Well, I'll here. tell you something. When it comes to, to fruit and vegetables, it. honestly, the last thing you want to worry about is calories. I mean, really, if you're cutting back somewhere, you really mm -hmm. have to go into another area of your food. Yeah. Fruits and vegetables, you really have to think of it so as a So calorie free counters, don't worry about it? Oh, not at all. Has really, I mean, if you're diabetic and you need to watch your sugar intake, of course, mm -hmm. you would want to monitor that in the intake as well. But I would say that really, when it comes to this, and plus the majority of of the what these products are made of mm -hmm. is fiber right so if for example a mango happens to be a hundred calories per cup let's say mm -hmm. only 65 percent of that is the sugar and the rest of it is fiber which you excrete anyway so yeah. it's not like you're really taking in a, a hundred calories so should I eat this during the day and stay around and before I go out at night or oh I see what you're saying yeah you probably <laughs> might want to do that yeah no you're pretty safe here you just want to watch it'll let beans, you know right yeah, exactly <laughs> just let you know be careful yeah. give yourself some time and here we have some yogurt and here's mm -hmm. that smoked peach chutney with mm -hmm. some flum sunflower seeds as well and this gives it more of a savory taste and mm -hmm. what I want to say here too is that with the yogurts and dairy you know I get a lot of questions about that in terms of is it good or not this is the Greek uh, yogurt right? yes yeah. definitely Greek and it's just it's just much creamier mm -hmm. and it just tastes better but what i what i tell people to do is to eat foods in their natural state right so yogurt is meant to eat as yogurt not as cheesecake right so <laughs> all of the flavored yogurts and they take out the fat but they add the sugar and they turn the yogurt into key lime pie ah. well i'm saying just eat the key lime pie leave the yogurt for the yogurt you're altering the palate for yeah. people right so mm -hmm. then everything that they want has to be a dessert it's yogurt. Appreciate the taste of the yogurt. There you go. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. This is wonderful. Woo! Thank Our girl, Fiorella DeCarla, registered dietitian. Where can we get more information on what you're doing? Can um, we see this somewhere? Well, we yes, can, we can pull this up again because we're going to show this again around 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And then 10 o'clock at night and then overnight. Yeah, you know, you but can you have go a to, website. Yes, FiorellaEats.com, and you can find all of my videos and my meals for one videos and recipes, the fad-free oh. Diet recipes, so that's great. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. do this thing. He never follows Give another my orders. Big he never <laughs> listens to me. Okay, I'm listening. What do you want okay, me to no, do? Okay, no, no, that's okay. Here. Okay, go. Yeah, and there we that's go. That's the food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you when you come by and share all this wonderful information with us. All right, we're gonna take a quick break right here, but uh, coming up. We'll find out about how one expert is making America stronger through science and technology.